good morning. <laughs> Even after meditating this morning, I had no idea what I was going to talk about. Uh, finally made the decision about quarter after four, you know, a little less than a half an hour ago. <laughs> and the title that I finally selected is Canceling Contracts and More. If you're at all like me, you've probably been wondering what is going on in the world. <laughs> to me, it seems like the entire planet is on the edge of something big. Exactly what that is and how it will manifest is a matter of speculation and interest. <laughs> One of the things I have been coming across a lot is the idea of canceling contracts, especially those conceived in fraud and entered into without the full knowledge and consent of we the people. It is possible that this goes much farther than we might have imagined to a cosmic level dealing with our souls. I don't have all, probably not even many of the answers. I do encourage you to think about this concept and make a conscious decision to cancel with intent all supposed agreements you may have entered into unknowingly. Let me just clear up one thing. Uh, well, maybe it won't clear it up, but I'm addressing the issue that I spoke about yesterday with my health. I don't feel like there's any sickness going on with me. I feel weaker than usual, certainly more contemplative than usual, and I'm dealing with some physical discomforts, shall we say, that have not been normal for me. Normally, I feel a lot of emotional turmoil and things like that, but I don't feel necessarily, it doesn't manifest as physical discomfort as it has in, in recent days. And some people said that I should get, get checked by a doctor, which is absolutely not. I mean, my body is in the hands of my soul and spirit, and I don't trust doctors. I mean, if I broke a bone, certainly I'd go to a doctor. But for any discomforts in my body or, or, or things like that, doctors are of no value to me. <laughs> that's where I am, and I don't care how many people try to convince me otherwise, that's where I am. Uh, I have long looked at minor discomforts as adjustments to what needs to happen to me in my process of having my DNA changed or whatever, upgraded or whatever. And I, you know, I always say thank you for this adjustment. And that has long been my practice. I don't, I don't get overly concerned about physical things because, well, for one thing, because they don't happen very often. Now, the thing Thursday morning that I experienced was a bit more intense than what I'm used to. And there's still discomfort up here, as I said yesterday. And I don't know why, but I have much more freedom of movement without pain. It's only, it, I can feel it without touching it, but there's something here. And what that is, I don't know. Some suggested that it's electronic interference, that it's being electronically generated. Some suggested it's a pre-sign of a stroke or a heart attack or something like that, an early warning sign. Whatever it is, I'm not worried about it. And I'm just, thank you for your concern. I welcome your prayers. I welcome energy healing, Reiki, pranic healing, whatever, whatever distance healing you want to send me. I welcome that and I want you to know that. That being said, now let's get back to the contracts. Now, Kiri Campbell, that I spoke about a few days ago, is in jail in, in New Zealand. The authorities came and arrested her, I guess, the day before yesterday. And she remains in jail, uh, separated from her family, and she has eight children. And then there's some other lady in New Zealand that's trying to badmouth Carrie and calling her a fraud and everything else, which I think is absolutely crazy and insane. Um, they're both my friends. Carrie is actually my newer friend of the two. But in any case, Carrie is one that has stood up for her rights and said, 
I'm canceling the contracts and, and I'm taking possession of my value. She has announced that to the system publicly and I still applaud her. I don't believe she's a fraud. I don't believe that the stories going around that uh, that this one lady is, is trying to uh, deface and, and demoralize and defame Carrie. I don't buy into that, not for one second. That's where I am. You, if you want to be somewhere else, we're all scattered all over the place right now because there is confusion as we await uh, whatever it's going to be, the big event, whatever that big event is going to be and however it manifests. Of course, there's that relatively rare alignment of planets going on tomorrow, the 29th. And what that's going to portend for the world, I don't know. How anything's going to manifest, I don't know. Yesterday, I was introduced to Andrew Bartit, Bartzis. B-A-R-T-Z-I-S, and I'm on his webpage here, uh, Spiritual Contract Removal, it's Adventures into Reality, uh, and it's www.andrewbartzis.com is his website, and uh, uh, the contract removal is the last, spiritual contract removal is the last item on his left index little uh, little thing. Uh, and he says, here is a complete list of, of contract removal documents I came up with. I will add more as I come up with the rest. I found him interesting. He claims to uh, know the, be able to read the Akashic records of not only this world, but a whole bunch of other worlds. And he shares in this uh, first, this interview, this two-hour interview with a couple of ladies, he shares the history of the world as he reads it and it's interesting I mean I, can I say that I know it or agree with it absolutely not but lots of things I find interesting and he on some people when I listen to them they they have a lot of knowledge but they come across as know-it-alls and when they when that happens I tend to be very turned off somebody sent me another thing by, by another person uh, that I've listened to some of his stuff, but I'm, pr and I didn't go, I should have gone back and listened a little bit more to make sure that, that, that he's the one I'm thinking of, but I think he's one of the ones that comes across to me as arrogant. And, and it doesn't matter what they're saying. When they, when I pick up that spirit, I tend to want to separate myself from it. I, te I tend not to want to pay attention. Even, even if the information seems interesting, there's something about the delivery, something about the person delivering it that, that I don't feel good about. And I honor that for myself. And I encourage you to pay attention to what you resonate and not resonate with. In any case, uh, there was a, a, a nice spirit I felt about Andrew and the two ladies in the interview. And I encourage you to go and give a listen not because I agree with it, but because it's interesting. Well, anyway, that I wasn't necessarily going to talk about that this morning when I uh, came out of meditation and came to the computer. But then one of my friends sent me an email uh, of a channeling, the last chapter, the Earth, Hollow Earth Network update. And it's from Dr. Catherine E. May, uh, doctor of psychology and it's from July 25th and uh, and she's talking about an announcement and I'm just going to read a little bit from from that thing here is the announcement all contracts are finished ended all soul contracts are now canceled those who came here to planet earth to manage difficult illnesses complicated relationships and challenging handicaps are now freed of all pain, all suffering. You are now completely free to exercise your free will without karmic strings, as you might think of it. In addition, all financial contracts, such as mortgages, car loans, student loans, and other commitments which have been arranged through banking institutions of all kinds are hereby canceled. Personal commitments between friends will, of course, still be important to uphold, 
but corporations and banks will no longer be recognized as viable creditors because of the criminal and lawless system on which they are based. Isn't that what the OPPT has been saying since, uh, since December at least? I discovered it in January. Isn't that what a lot, what a lot of people are saying now? Isn't that what even some of the, the mainstream prognosticators are saying? There's a change coming in the financial system. The contracts are ended. Debts, debt forgiveness is going to be on the very close horizon happening in August or September at the latest. Uh, of course, according to Andrew, the people, the, the Illuminati and the people that are embodied from these original 15 multidimensional beings who inserted themselves into our grid without expressed consent, a consented permission, uh, those are being dealt with. The God, the prime source, creator has made a decree that it's just not going to, they're not going to be able to keep going because they've been trying to usurp everything from the people. They're the ones that, that, uh, that try to enforce all of these um, adhesion contracts, whether they're at the cosmic soul level or whether they're in the physical realm. They try to, they, they, they look at themselves as owners of the soul and of the, of the souls of people and think that they have the right to nourish themselves at the expense of others. And this is just, it flies in the face of cosmic law, cosmic justice. And it will, even though it's a free will zone, it's no longer going to be tolerated on earth. This is a message that I've been hearing, not just from Andrew, not just from Catherine May, whom I don't know at all. I, I, I just got the email just a short time ago and thought, oh, that's another one. Now, maybe that's what I'm supposed to talk about. It triggered that for me and, and gave me the go-ahead. But I do very much, I do very much encourage you in your own thinking, if nothing else, but I, no, not just in your own thinking. Think about it, yes, but make declarations. Andrew provides some. The OPPT supp uh, supplies others, and I'm sure there are more people that are supplying good things to say, but put it in your own words with your own feeling and say, I'm exercising my free will. Let the universe know I'm exercising my free will. I don't want to be in bondage to these uh, life-sucking entities that, that abuse life itself. They abuse themselves and they abuse life itself. They are enemies of the cosmos. They are enemies of the creator. They want to be, the, as Andrew says, they want to be the prime creator. They want to create a world based, a, a, a cosmos, a universe based on warfare, based on invisible contracts, adhesion contracts that, that people enter into without their knowledge and don't even know that they're under under some kind of an invisible contract. Let them be canceled. I agree, uh, Catherine. Uh, I agree. All contracts are finished, ended. But we need to make that declaration individually and collectively. We need to be on the same page in this. That we need to say, I don't, we, even if we don't know what the contracts were, we want to be free right now to live a life free of these adhesion contracts, free of this interference in our free will. And we want to exercise our individual choice, our free will choice to live and to be in truth. Let there be transparency. Let there be revelation of who we are. And let that come back to us, knowing this is who I am. This is my eternal being expressing itself right now. And I call back all the parts of my soul, all the parts of my being, all the experiences that I've ever experienced. I call them back to heal my multi-generational in the past and the future. And I do this right now. I think Andrew is right. I think that's a good, good place to make declaration from the now moment connecting it to the all of the past and all of the future, to all of your ancestors and all of your progeny. 
connecting it, connecting yourself right now and bringing forgiveness and bringing as much clarity as you know how to bring into the present moment that you want your free will honored and exercised by the entire cosmos. And let anyone that, that would infringe upon that, let them be dealt with now, karmically, and stopped, whatever that means, however that's going to manifest and happen. Anyway, this is what I'm sharing with you this morning on the 28th of uh, July. I feel bad because I haven't contacted Peter Van Runt. I'd like to do a video with him this morning for tomorrow, but I haven't even made made any communication with him since the last, really since the last one. This has been a, a different kind of a week for me. And I've probably one of the more introspective weeks of my life. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll see what happens. Thank you for listening and namaste. <laughs> Oh, dear.